Welcome back to Calculus 3. Uh, in this video, we'll talk about the conversion between spherical coordinates and rectangular coordinates. And we know in the three-dimensional space, a point, it is an order of the triple. And now we know this is a UI, suppose you know very well, the rectangular coordinates. We can use x, y, z to denote a point. And also we can use uh, the cylindrical coordinates, r, theta, and z. r, theta, really, it has the same, they have the same meaning like the polar coordinates in two-dimensional space. So I said uh, uh, cylindrical coordinates, it is a direct extension from the polar coordinates in the two-dimensional space. And the spherical coordinate, somewhat, it's a bigger change, okay? Notation-wise, you can say they're totally different from the rectangular, right? We have a rho, theta, and the phi. And also, one thing, if you know cylindrical very well, theta, it is the sign. The second component for cylindrical and the spherical both, they are the sign. Okay, and the theta doesn't have the same meaning. It is the angle in the x, y plane pointing from x axis to r. And then let's try to explain rho. We are having point in the space. So when you connect this point to the origin, there's a line segment. The length of that line segment, it is a rho. It is a rho. Okay, and then phi. Phi, it is the angle formed in such a way from z axis to the line segment rho, that's angle phi. Rho, theta, phi. And using those three coordinates, three coordinates, we still can locate a point precisely in the three dimensional space. So the real question is how all these three are connected. Well, I guess we are not going to work with all three together. We are just going to look at the two of them. So in this part, we are just considering spherical and rectangular. And when you are given the spherical, and it can be converted using the, these three formulas to rectangular coordinates. And also I'm trying to explain a little bit uh, if you look at the graph, it might be easier if you consider the z coordinate first. Okay, we start from rho, theta, and the phi. Rho it is the distance from the point to the origin. Do you see the right triangle here? Okay, with the in well, uh, with respect to this right triangle, do you think the z coordinate it is the adjacent of this angle phi, right? So z simply tends to be rho times cosine phi. z is a rho times cosine phi. And then you may wonder what happened to the other line segment. The other line segment, it might be easier if you consider the point in the space so it always have a projection to the xy plane. You draw a line perpendicular to xy plane. So there is a projected point. And then you connect this projected point in the xy plane to the y axis. That is the way you how you get this r. And the r, well, I hope you are seeing there's a parallelogram. And you need a rectangle. The r on the top, it is really the same as the r at the bottom here. So using the right triangle, this R can be found as rho times sine phi. And again, this time, if you know cylindrical coordinates very well, after knowing R, X is R times cosine theta, right? And remember, R is rho times sine phi. So X is rho times sine phi times cosine theta. Y is uh, R times sine theta. R is replaced with rho times sine phi. So these three are the conversion formulas from spherical to rectangular. And also we do have three formulas from in the other direction, from rectangular to spherical. The first formula, I hope you see it's just easy. 
or uh, using the Pythagorean theorem. Pythagorean theorem. Rho it is the distance from point to the origin, so it is square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. And the phi, let's work on phi first. Phi it is, well, cosine phi it is uh, z over rho, right? So phi it is cosine inverse of z over rho, that's perfectly fine. And again, the same story like we did for cylindrical coordinates, theta. There's a little bit of uncertainty of theta. You really needed to check carefully. And uh, so if you are not so sure about uh, how to decide theta, check with my other video. And I think I explained how you find out angle theta using the graph. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at one example, how we convert from spherical to the rectangular coordinates. Pretty much, I just use the formula, I just use the formula. X is rho times sine phi times cosine theta. So rho is two. Theta it is the second component, so that's a negative angle. Phi, it is uh, theta, uh, actually rho, Theta and the phi, I actually, I believe I did this not correctly. This really should be. Theta is positive, so pi over six. This is negative. Five pi over six. And also let me take a look if I can do the same kind of thing for the number part. Sine pi over six, now it turns to be one half. Cosine of negative five pi over six, this part turns to be negative. Actually, I think the final answer still turns out to be fine, okay. And then y coordinate, it is rho times sine phi, so I believe instead of negative one half, I simply should have just positive one half. Sine theta, it is negative, negative one half. So I believe this time the y coordinate it is negative, 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 y coordinate is negative. And then the z coordinate, it is a rho times cosine phi. Phi is a pi over six. Cosine pi over six, I think it should be square root of three. It should be square root of three. Well, I hope it's uh, fixed for now. I'll double check when I'm done with this video. So actually, indeed, I believe I'm done with this part of the topic. It is a conversion between spherical and rectangular coordinates. Thank you for watching.